Not all dark field microscopes are created equally. Why do some dark field microscopes cost significantly less than the microscopes supplied by Neogenesis systems? Why are cheaper microscopes not suitable? The difference between the Neogenesis system's range of microscopes and cheaper dark field microscopes comes down to the difference between this image and this one. Imagine trying to analyze the characteristics of individual cells in this image, or to see what is happening between the cells. It is simply not possible. Unfortunately, many practitioners make the mistake of purchasing one of these cheaper systems, since they are sold and marketed as dark field live blood analysis microscopes. But not all dark field microscopes are created equally. Are these companies willingly deceiving people by providing them with microscopes that are not suitable for live blood analysis in dark field? Probably not, since these companies do not work in the field of live blood analysis and have not been trained in live blood analysis. They are simply not aware of the specific set of requirements needed for dark field analysis of live blood. So, what are the particular set of specifications needed for live blood analysis? Well, here is a list of the most important requirements, listed in descending order of importance. Changing only one of these specifications will have a drastic impact on what you are able to see in a live blood sample, and as a result, will negatively affect your results in practice. Dark field analysis requires a very strong light source. Here is an image taken from our HDMI LED system which has a 9-watt LED light source, equivalent to 100-watt halogen. All the structures can be seen clearly. Compare that to this image, taken with a 3-watt LED system, equivalent to 20-watt halogen. All the other specifications are the same, only the light source is different. Notice how the structures between the cells are not visible at all. The only dark field condenser that is suitable for dark field live blood analysis is an oil immersion cardioid dark field condenser. With this condenser, we're able to achieve the high level of contrast needed to see the cell membranes and all the structures in the plasma clearly. Compare that to this image, where a dry dark field condenser has been used. Again, only the condenser has been changed here. Even with a high intensity light source, the dry dark field condenser is not able to produce the high level of contrast needed for dark field analysis. A magnification of at least 1,000 times is required for live blood analysis. The Neogenesis system's range of microscopes feature a four times higher level magnification on the viewing screen than through the eyepieces. This allows the user to achieve a magnification of 1,600 times on the screen when using the 40 times objective, which is ideal for identifying live blood anomalies. Compare that to this image, where the magnification range is the same on the screen as through the eyepieces. It is simply impossible to identify any anomalies at this magnification. Most microscopes claim to have a maximum magnification of 1000 times, which is based on using the 100 times objective. Unfortunately, these microscopes are equipped with standard 100 times objectives which are not suitable for dark field, so users inevitably have to use the 40 times objective, and are then limited to a maximum magnification of only 400 times. Why are standard 100 times objectives not suitable for dark field? They allow through too much light, and there is no way for the user to adjust the light going through the objective. This image shows a live blood sample viewed with the 100 times objective supplied with the Neogenesis system's range of microscopes. The 100 times objective used here has a built-in iris diaphragm, which allows the user to control the amount of light allowed through the objective. Due to the higher on-screen magnification, we are achieving a total magnification of 4000 times here. This is what a dark field sample looks like when viewed with a standard 100 times objective. Since there is no iris diaphragm, the amount of light going through the objective cannot be adjusted, and barely anything can be seen. When looking at dark field microscopes for live blood analysis, be sure to compare apples with apples by looking at these essential specifications. A compromise on any of these specifications will result in a compromise on what you're able to see in a live blood sample, and as a result will negatively impact your results in practice. With an inferior system, you simply will have no idea what anomalies you may be missing which means that you will most likely miss the most important imbalances in the case. Avoid making costly mistakes by being properly informed.